Something just took place at a Lana Del Rey concert that in my opinion was a mass supernatural demonic event within the Christian charismatic movement we know of what's called being slain in the spirit where people fall down by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll get more into that, the biblical approach of that and how I believe what this event I'm about to show you is absolutely an evil demonic supernatural mass encounter that just took place. This footage is from a Lana Del Rey concert that took place in Mexico on the 16th of August, 2023. And you will see here in the crowd, strangely enough, out of nowhere, just people start falling over in almost a violent way. Here's a different angle of that same thing. Very strange. Again, it seems like a violent falling over of people on a mass scale. Some people are pointing out that it looks like a strange cloud of something is coming off the stage prior to that, but that could of course just be fog, which looks like that is on the stage at the moment. Here's a more aerial view of that same thing taking place, and you can just see how it's a massive wave, like an energy wave of people falling over. It's really extremely strange. From this angle, you can see more of that fog, but again, it looks like that's coming from the stage. Might have something to do with it, I don't know. Before I explain what the slain in the spirit phenomenon is, I know some people may claim that this is like a mosh pit or something like that, but I can assure you this is definitely no mosh pit. The way these people just randomly fell over violently, people dropping phones, that's not from people just falling over. In my past life, I've been to plenty of metal shows and one of the most violent things that takes place within a mosh pit is something called the wall of death, something that many venues have banned because people have actually died during this. And you can see here, the crowd is purposely set apart, pushing towards one another, and even then, people falling over. It's nothing like that weird wave of a cloud that just fell over the people at the Lana Del Rey concert. That was a supernatural demonic event that took place at that concert, in my opinion. I'll explain why I believe that. It seems like the veil between the spiritual realm and the physical realm is splitting more and more, so it wouldn't surprise me. I'll get more into that towards the end of the video. But first, I'll explain what slain in the spirit is for people who don't know what that is. Now, these videos I'm going to show, I'm not saying are absolutely true because this is from Benny Hinn. Many people claim that he set these things up. There's a lot of controversy surrounding him, but there's a lot of video footage of these mass slain in the spirit, similar to what took place at the concert. Personally, I know people who are very spiritual who have been slain in the spirit and people who didn't even have a relationship with Jesus who have been slain in the spirit, people who I know absolutely weren't lying to me when they said they went down without any control. Personally, it's never happened to me, but I do believe it is a true phenomenon. Some biblical explanations to this would be John 18, 6, when the soldiers in Judas came to arrest Jesus and Jesus answered, I am he, they collapsed on the ground. In Revelation 1, 17, when John saw a vision of God in heaven, he fell as though dead. And Saul, when on his way to Damascus to persecute Christians, fell to the ground when he heard God's voice. 1 John 4, 1 through 6 tells us we need to test the spirits, especially in the times we're in where it seems we're heading towards a time of greater deception. If you look back at that video, you can see it almost looked as if they were in a ritual circle on the stage, something that we know many people within the music industry are in a evil spiritual practice. They really perform witchcraft and evil to get to the positions they're in and to stay in those positions. There's an evil fraction, and I would say probably the majority within the music industry. And we know magic circles are something the occult uses. It's something they use in ritual magic. They believe it actually contains energy from a sacred space or sometimes provides a form of magical protection or they believe both. It can be marked out in many different ways and many times within a ritual purpose, people will be standing within or outside of that circle or connected in a circle holding hands or touching the body one way or another. We can see here ASAP Rocky, a rapper with other rappers, people in the music industry standing within a satanic ritual circle. And just to back that up even more, we'll look at Lil Uzi Vert for a moment, whose name clearly is a play on words for Lucifer. And he just absolutely demonstrates wide open that he takes place in satanic, truly evil spiritual practices to gain the notoriety and his position within the music industry. Did I sell my soul? I sold my soul for you. Now figure that out. Tell me that I sell my soul. I sold my soul for you. For all you 
that's on here that's asking me that I sell my soul, why the y'all on here if y'all think I sell my soul? Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. He's probably one of the most open people about his ties to satanic beliefs in the music industry. His fans at a concert were freaked out by his eyes. They look as if they're glowing here. Probably just contacts, but again, very weird. We can see here how he has the one eye missing or one eye is different from the other. Something that the leader of the satanic church, Lucian Graves, has as well within the occult, of course, in many different aspects of it. We have the all-seeing eye or the eye of Horus. We know there's one eye symbolism all throughout the music industry and in these different occult groups, secret societies. And it's truly good to be aware of these things. Second Corinthians 2.11 tells us, in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. Ephesians 6, 11, and 12, God also confirms this again to us. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So make sure you're putting on the full armor of God every day, pleading the blood of Jesus, asking for God's angels, and ministering spirits to minister and protect you. It's good to be involved in spiritual warfare to protect yourself in the times we're in. And truly, just all throughout history, we've needed this spiritual covering and this spiritual warfare and protection from God. There's many verses that condemn occult practices or the magic arts or any type of witchcraft. Many verses in the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament. But Revelation 21.8 tells us a very important fact about it. And it says, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. The good news is that Jesus Christ can cancel any assignment, any contract these, these people have signed with the evil one, anything, doesn't matter what they've signed, what the enemy lied to them. Jesus has the power over everything in all creation. His name alone is above everything in all creation. So people who have signed these contracts or made these deals with the devil or was evil, they can break that at any time by coming to the Lord Jesus. And that's actually who Jesus came to the earth to save. In Luke 19, 10, he tells us, for the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus said he didn't come for those who need a physician. He came for those who were sick, the people who are lost, people who have made contracts like Lil Uzi Vert and just people who are involved in that. Maybe like what took place at the Lana Del Rey concert. Seems like an evil spiritual work is at force there, is at work there in my opinion. So. In these times we're in, there's a spiritual war going on. Make sure you're strong in the armor and the full protection of God. You can go to God and get a renouncement and a cancellation of any evil assignment that has been you put on your life or your family bloodline has had on your life and Jesus can break it all. So I pray you all are well. Make sure you're strong and in the Lord in these definitely spiritual supernatural times we're in. Thanks for watching and God bless.